just had a lovely weekend. On Saturday I did something for the first time, I've never done it in my life. Uh, no, that isn't bathed properly. Um, I watched two films twice in one day. And yeah, I was just flicking around on the afternoon on Amazon Prime and there was a couple of films I fancied. One was called Upside, which has Kevin Hart and the dude out of Breaking Bad. And the other one's called Green Card. And yeah, they just so kind of made me feel all warm and fuzzy and like really good feel good that um, I suggested watch them on the night as well. So first time I can ever remember um, watching the same film twice in one day since probably Rocky IV back in 1986. Anyway, on to today. Uh, I'm going to try something new. I'm going to attempt to show you how the various instruments of a band come together. And I've got some like split screen action going on as well. I think I know how to do that with the editing software. So we'll see how we get on anyway. Here we go. So the example I'm going to use, because um, I plan on doing this as a series of videos, the, the easiest one I can think of to start with, um, a lot of people know, will be You Somebody by the Kings of Leon. So it's just the, um, the verse of it. So it's the... I've been roaming around, always looking down at all I see. instruments I'm going to do uh, guitar, bass, keyboard and drums and put them all together. Um, so that is the example and what I want to point out is that you, it uses two chords. It uses an E and an A. So the first thing I'm going to do is play an E and an A on the guitar, bass and the keyboard. So the first of all the guitar in its most simplest, you could play the E as a low E string, which is this thickest one. So this is called an E, and this next string is an A. So you could do eight on each. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But to add a bit of variety, because I'm going to get the bass guitar doing that, we're going to play an E on the 12th fret of the high E string and you're going to do eight there so don't worry about whether or not say like sort of thinking oh, I, I can't understand why is it the 12th fret you're just gonna to have to take some of this information just sort of take parrot fashion kind of thing so you've got an E at the 12th fret on the first string you're gonna go eight on there one two three four five six seven eight and then you've got an eight at the fifth fret and you can do eight there one two three So onto the bass, and I cannot stress how important it is you realise that no matter um, what instruments you use, whether you're in an orchestra or a brass band, you're always all following the same chords. So the, the chords for this again are 8 beats on an E, 8 be beats on an A. Now the guitar was playing on every beat, like the da 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 Now with the bass to add a bit of contrast, at this early stage, we're going to play every two beats. So we're going to play on the one and the three, so it's going to be like. Bum, 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 bum. So that's on that low E string. And then you do the same on the A string. Bum, 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 bum. So it's like. Okay, on to keyboard. So again, just to repeat myself, we're doing eight beats on an E, eight beats on an A, and we're just gonna go really simple for now and just play an E note and an A note, nothing else. So a quick guide on how to work out the names of the notes on a keyboard. Where you have the two groups of, or pairs of two black notes, consider that as a dog kennel. And then inside the kennel, you've got your dog. So these are your Ds. And also the white notes, these are called sharps and flats. We don't need to bother with them at the moment. So these white notes are just the letters of the alphabet and it goes from A to G. After G goes back to A again. So if this is the D, then the next one's an E. 
So that's the first note we need. And if that's an E, that's an F, G, and no H, so it goes back to A. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna play a four beat note on an E, a four beat note on an A. So it's gonna be like, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, on to the drums. Uh, never is the expression all the gear and no ID applied so well. Uh, I've had this drum kit a couple of months now. I think I've been on it for a combined 10 minutes. So this won't be pretty, but uh, you'll get some idea with it. So what we're going to do is on the hi-hat, which is this thing, we're going to play um, the quarter notes, every every beat. So it's like one, two, three, four. So that's going to maintain that rhythm, hopefully. Hopefully it won't speed up and slow down. And then on the bass, we're going to play on the one and the three. So it's... Uh, bass drum and then on the snare I don't even know if I should be yeah this way uh, on the snare we're gonna play in between so on the two and the four so it's gonna be like so let's give that a go okay now I've shown you the four parts for that first example let's see if I can put them all together with this fancy software God, I hope so. Okay, now we're going to um, change the guitar part to make it a little bit more interesting. And so before we just did eight notes on this E note here, eight notes on the A note there, and we did them as what we call quarter notes, so it's every beat of the bar. Every time we hear that metronome click or the hi hat on the drums, this time we're going to put twice as many notes in. So we're going to go two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two. And not only are we going to do that, we're going to play the note directly above. So as well as the the first string on the 12th fret, we're going to play the first string on the second. Sorry, you're going to play the 12th fret on the second as well. So you get this sound, and we're going to do the same thing the fifth. So you have this kind of thing. So we're going to add that to it. Okay, so now I'm going to um, jazz the bass up a little bit instead of just going like. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I'm going to make the rhythm of the bass sound a little bit more like the actual song. And we're going to play like this. Which is a bit more of a complex rhythm. I'm counting in my head is one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Okay, back to the keyboard now. Uh, we're going to make it sound a little bit more interesting by adding what we call the major third because we're dealing with major chords. So we had the E here and we had the A here. Now, no matter, no matter which note you land on, whether it's white or black, if you count one, two, three, four notes along, then you will end up on the major third, which is what we want. So we've got the E, there's one, two, three, four. So you end up in this black one. So that is what we're going to play, and that's a chord. Um, two or more notes played together as a chord. So we're going to do um, four beats on that one. Or so it's like one, two, three, four, and then we'll do that again. And then we change to the A, so if this is the A, count four notes long. One, two, three, four, so this is, this is the other chord. So we're going to be doing the same as what we did before, but we're adding those black notes. Drums a little bit more complex as well. This is not going to go well. 
So on the hi hat, I'm going to try and do that one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two thing I mentioned before. So it's like, which was what I was when I was counting the bass. And then the bass drum is going to go. as well so I'm going to put that together in theory. Right so I've shown you now the uh, the four sections for that second example again wish me luck I'm going to try and put them all together. together so maybe I should be hanging my head in shame at this moment in time or maybe I should feel pretty good about myself anyway I hope it was uh, informative and if you like the video if you could give it a like uh, or subscribe to the channel that would be fantastic okay cheese bye